this lecture we will discuss surface states and their role in making of junction diodes in theory we use a surface that is perfect but in reality surface is a defect where the periodicity periodicity of our crystal structure is broken there are some atoms sitting on the surface that don't have the sufficient numbering or neighboring atom that it can bond to therefore the surface contains a lot of incomplete chemical bonds which are known as dangling bonds so these dangling bonds produce produce energy levels that are 
लोकेटेड विद इन द बैंड गैप जस्ट एज द बर्थ डिफेक्ट्स एंड इंप्यूरिटीज produce energy level energy levels that are located within the band gap the nature of this defect surface states are not well known in general and there are many varieties of defect states that are possible depending on the exact termination of the surface however the density of surface states is known to be proportional to roughly the to third power of the atomic density so in general we can say that the density of these surface states depend upon the atomic density of the parent semiconductor that is density 
of surface states is equal to n naught to the power 2 by 3 where n naught is the atomic density for silicon this number is about 10 raised to the power 15 per centimeter cube so simply we can say that surface states are occurred due to the incomplete bonding of the surface atoms so if we take an example of silicon that is we know that the valency of silicon is 4 and if this side is our surface that is this side is our surface then all the inner atoms like this one this one have its complete bonding with the other silicon atoms here also silicon atoms other at silicon atoms are connected here here So here this is the surface from where we are going to make a contact with the other material. So on this surface we can say that there are no third silicon atom to which we can complete its bonding. So, these atoms are having some dangling bonds that is one is here, one is here, one is here, one is here. So, these dangling bonds can influence the contact with the other material. So, in this lecture, we are going to analyze the influence of these surface states. So, and very important thing is that these surface states have energy levels within the band gap of the semiconductor. So, if we know that this is valence band and this is minima of the conduction band, then these surface states generally take these energy levels and normally the energy levels of these surface states are spread out 
और ए रेंज बिकॉज देर आर मैनी different types of defect states which will have a different energy so these surface states are spreading over a energy range because every defect surface state has a different energy level these states in the fermi level at the surface and thus influence the barrier height for a short key diode these surface states are very crucial in pn diode also but here we are studying these states in study of the short key diode so let me draw these states in the energy band diagram so let this is minima of the conduction band that is ec and this is the maxima maximum of the valence band i am taking an example of n type semiconductor <coughs> and we know that for n type semiconductor the fermi level can be found just near the connection band so normally these surface states are found here this is the outer surface where we are going to make a contact with the other material here we are using a metal so here some states are filled these are surface states and other surface states are empty and these states can vary from valence band to conduction band so these are empty surface states and these green color represent occupied
सरफेस स्टेट्स सो वी कैन मार्क दिस गैप एज फाइव नोट सो दिस द रेंज अप टू विच ऑल द सरफेस स्टेट्स आर फील्ड और ऑक्यूपाइड इज फाइव नोट so these are fill states these are fill states and these are empty so this scenario is in the equilibrium condition that is here i am just drawing these states but this is not actual when we consider it's in real life that we can consider it that up to some thickness we can consider this surface as a different material and bulk semiconductor as a different that is here we can see that these states are filled up to here so to make an equilibrium in the fermi level the fermi level in the semiconductor itself has to align that is this fermi level and this fermi level should be aligned so this normally this type of band diagram is known as flat band condition or flat band diagram so this is flat band condition when there is non equilibrium so this is non equilibrium condition or sometimes known as flat band condition or flat band diagram so we can see that there is a difference in the fermi level levels in in these filled states and bulk of the semiconductor so electrons from the bulk semiconductor will move to the surface states so that there is an alignment in the fermi levels so let me draw this here so this is the boundary between the bulk and so now since electrons are going from the bulk to the surface so there is an upward band bending in the bulk of the semiconductor so now the fermi levels is aligned so up to this all surface states are filled and after this point all surface states are empty
again this difference is phi naught we can see that electrons are going from the semiconductor side bulk semiconductor side so this bulk part of the semiconductor can have positive charge and here since electrons are coming to the surface so this surface can get negative charges and due to this movement of due to the moment movement of these electrons there are a depletion region can be created and we can denote this its length as w so this is the depletion region within the semiconductor we are we are not making any contact to other material here but this is due to the difference between the surface state and the bulk part of the semiconductor so the, there is a band bending in the bulk part of the semiconductor and due to this due to these dangling bonds on the surface so it's very important now we have to make a contact of this semiconductor to the other material let's use a metal so when we make a contact with the metal then these surface states can play an important role in deciding the barrier height of this short key junction so let me draw so here surface in thermal equilibrium with the bulk so now let me draw energy band diagram for metal semiconductor short key junction so again i am repeating the band bending this is the fermi level that is aligned after making a contact with the metal so this is a metal and from this part this is our semiconductor so this is the 
alignment of the bands after making a contact with a metal so this is metal semiconductor contact and this difference we know that is the barrier potential and we know that this difference that is the difference between the work function of metal and semiconductor or sorry work function and the electron affinity of the semiconductor is known at as short key barrier height that is phi b so now and here this is the gap phi naught again there are some movements of the electrons from the semiconductor to metal side and now this depletion width can be increased according to the work function difference between metal and semiconductor so this is the let me right here this is ec this is ev again this is ec this is ev and this is the fermi level after alignment let me write it as ef <coughs> so in this image semiconductor in contact with metal let me mark this diagram as 1 2 and 3 <coughs> so let me write some points related to these three diagrams here that is diagram 1 no net <coughs> charge exists either in the surface states or in the bulk semiconductor the surface is characterized by a neutral level phi node such that all states
below phi naught are occupied while those above it are empty this situation is one of non equilibrium equilibrium is reached when electrons from the semiconductor from the we can say bulk semiconductor adjacent to the surface occupy states above phi not and fermi levels and fermi level becomes constant so equilibrium is reached when electrons move from the bulk semiconductor adjacent to the surface occupied states above phi naught and fermi level becomes constant throughout the semiconductor thus surface states thus the surface becomes negatively charged and a depletion reason is created within the semiconductor near the surface
if a and this equilibrium condition is shown in the energy band diagram of 2 if a metal now i am coming to diagram 3 if a metal is now brought into contact with the semiconductor exchange of electrons takes place largely between the metal and the semiconductor surface semiconductor surface states and the depletion reason charge remains practically unaffected if the density of surface states is infinitely large then barrier height can be written as EZ that is band gap minus phi naught and this is roughly equal to 2 by third of EZ here EZ is the band gap of the semiconductor and its important to note that for covalently bonded semiconductors the value of phi naught is about one by third of the band gap above the valence band 
so in covalently bonded semiconductors like silicon and germanium this the value of this phi naught is nearly ev plus 1 by 3 of ez that is if ev is here and fermi all is here and this is ez then this phi naught the maximum of the phi naught can be found from 1 by 3 of ez let's say it's here about the valence band so there is so there is a change in the barrier height due to the presence of surface states sometimes the presence of native oxide native oxide layer on the surface of the semiconductor also produces interface states or surface states whose nature and density depends only on the oxide semiconductor combination so some native oxide layers can also affect these surface states this is not in our syllabus but simply these oxide layers can saturate some dangling bonds so due to saturation of these dangling bonds there is another bending in the bands of the semiconductor so but this is not in our syllabus so we have to stop this topic here so in this lecture we see that what is surface state and how these surface state states can affect the barrier height of a short key junction these surface states are 
also important when we make a pn diode or pn junction or any contact so to remove this surface states we have to clean all of the surfaces that we are going to make contact from this so surface cleaning is very important to make any contact but after cleaning of surfaces still there are some surface states that can affect the contact 